that you just can't resist like georgia come on come on i'm telling you y'all listen they say not many fathers listen i got many mothers not many 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 <laughs> let's go let's go good morning good morning good morning y'all welcome in to the everyday until 8 a.m experience this is your dynamic devotion and prayer every morning we'll be here we're here every day so make sure that you join us that's 8 a.m central standard time all right uh, then uh, when you come in, we come in according to the word of God. And that's with thanksgiving and praise. And so we send up hearts. We send up thumbs up. That is the digital praise uh, that we perform, that we do, because we believe uh, in this word. And we've seen it. It's applicable in our lives. So make sure that you do so. Also place the city and the state in which you're watching from the city and state. Put that in there because everybody's watching. People are all over the country. We're wanting you to be here uh, from the north to the south. From the east coast to the west coast we want everybody to be here and to be a part of it we're excited every morning because today is the day that the lord has made and we choose to rejoice and be glad so if you're in the land of the living if you're amongst those that have breath as long as there is breath in our lungs we will give god glory we will praise him somebody come on let's give glory to the lord this morning somebody praise him he's worthy he's worthy we trust we trust we believe Therefore, we speak. Hallelujah. Come on. <laughs> if you're here this morning, IG, come on. Give him glory for this morning. Thank you, callers, for being here. Thank you, all, everybody. There's other things that you can do, other places that you can be. Come on. Hey, listen, I'm telling you, I absolutely am glad that you're here this morning. Come on. Woo! I had this in my spirit last night. I was up late last night. Every day we will give you inspiration, we'll give you motivation, and we'll give you an app or application to perform. You will get inspiration from the inspired word of God. You'll get motivation. What is this word saying to me in order for me to have the motivation to perform the app that you'll give me? The application is we're applying God's word today to live life a better way. This is your this is your start. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. And therefore, his word is alive. It is applicable in our lives. There is one interpretation because there's one God and one spirit. And that one interpretation has multiple applications because we're independent individual beings. Somebody give God this morning because breakthrough is on the other side of your consistency. And so we do this every day. You're about to get your, you ready? You're about to get your breakthrough. Tell me what city you're calling from. Show me what city you're watching from. It's happening this morning. Come on. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh, if you're in a watch party, that person that's hosting the watch party wanted to make sure that they interacted with you. Thank you so much for hosting the watch party. Like, comment, share, and tag. If you like, comment, share, and tag, make sure you just hit the little uh, arrow uh, down at the bottom of your screen and send it off and others will jump in and join. All right. Also, uh, thank you so much for all the ambassadors uh, that are uh, making sure that you're making posts, uh, that you're sharing, that you're getting people to the call, that people that can pray, because we believe that people will pray. Okay. We believe that people are going to pray and power of prayer is the greatest power that we have. The intercession that we're making on behalf of those that are in the earth, it is the greatest representation of Christ in the earth because Jesus is now, he is making intercession for us. And so we are in the pattern of Christ with the Father. We are praying in Christ Jesus. So when everybody say in the name of Jesus, that means in Jesus, we're praying and we're talking to the Father because he is our access. He is uh, the way, he is the direction that we utilize. None can come to the Father unless they be drawn, but none can get to him except you go through me. That's what Jesus is saying. So we got this, y'all. We got this. Listen, that's that's the technical stuff. The great part is that, man, he's given us the blueprint and we're ready to go. Come on, y'all. Give God praise for it. I love you. 
I'm glad uh, if you're ready, uh, if you have a prayer request, woo, put your prayer request on the wall. Man, I got people that are trained that can pray with you and they will pray immediately. Uh, Pastor Tanya will comb through them at the end and or one of our other leaders will comb through them if we miss you in the midst of the call. So always go back and look for your prayer request. The number one thing we want you to do is to make sure that you acknowledge that your prayer request was answered and then also we want to hear the testimony. So don't just put your praise, uh, your prayer request there on the wall. Make sure you also put your praise report. Tell us that God did it and tell us what God did because we want to see it is just as encouraging to see the answered prayer as you are encouraged to hear, to know that someone is in agreement with you and praying with you. Amen? All right. So the next thing is uh, if you have a prayer, if you have a prayer request that you feel is private in nature, please make sure you click on the link uh, that is in the comments. You have to scroll back and click on that link, and then that link it'll take you to a form. Fill the form out in its entirety, and then someone from my staff uh, will contact you, and if necessary, myself uh, within 40, uh, 24 to forty eight hours with a prayer uh, instruction for you. We call it a prescription. All right, it's going to happen. All right, now. From the five-fold ministry to every other place, we are ready. Do I do I have someone that can give me what I need to know? You're getting ready for it. If you're ready, say I'm ready. If you're ready, say I'm ready, all right? Uh, I'm going to give you the address. Those of you that are new, thank you all so much for joining. And whoever invited you, make sure that you share with it. Uh, tell them on the wall that you uh, that you were invited by them. We appreciate you. We definitely appreciate you. All right, now, uh, the, the ready. The, okay, y'all, uh, when we give the address, and we begin to worship God already. We get to praise him. The address this morning for your inspiration uh, is coming out of Ephesians, the fourth chapter. Ephesians, the fourth chapter. Y'all ready? That's Ephesians 4 and 32. We're going to the last verse. Ephesians 4 and 32. Ephesians 4 and 32. Are y'all ready? Come on. That's Ephesians 4 and 32. I, I, I want it. What is, it's uh, the first verse. Ephesians 1 <laughs> is as powerful uh, as we get to Ephesians 32. So I'm really talking about the entire book of Ephesians 4 with our inspiration this morning. But I want you to focus in uh, on this 32 and what the Lord is saying, because it is actually uh, a culmination here that the Lord is speaking to us as Paul is talking to the church here at Ephesus. He says this in 32. He says, and be kind to one another, tenderhearted. Forgiving one another, even as Christ forgave you. Now, you know the and is there because it's, it's, it's a part of a whole nother uh, passage. But if you start reading just the, the word before it, you'll find yourself uh, going all the way back up to the top. And then you'll see uh, that it continues in Ephesians 5. And it talks about, therefore, be imitators of God as dear children and walk in love. So it's a whole piece. It's beautiful. But I wanted to take this part because this is the one that was in my spirit. I want you to get it. It says, and be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as Christ, even as God, rather, in Christ forgave you, even as God in Christ forgave you. Listen, that's that's being in Christ is a big deal. That being in Christ, is, that being saved, that being redeemed, that being one who has proclaimed that Jesus is Lord, the Son of God, is a really, really, somebody say really, really big deal. I mean, it really is, all right? So here it is. Uh, he says, and be kind to one another. This be kind to one another. Well, let me let me finish that out. Let me finish that out, all right? All right. That be kind to one another, family, uh, is actually telling us uh, not to just be nice, all right? It's not, this is not be nice. This is saying, come here close. This is saying, be easy with one another. Don't be difficult. With each other, we're not to be difficult, not to make things hard for each other. We're to be kind. Yes, this is to be nice. This, this is to be gentle. But this actually is saying, be easy with one another. Uh, don't be difficult. Uh, I know that none of you have ever met uh, anybody that is uh, difficult. <laughs> right? All right. You know, my mom, don't be funny, mom. Come on. It's a really big, it is a big deal. It's a really big deal. Hear me, hear me, hear me. He said, man, don't be difficult. Why be difficult with each other? After all that we've gone through, after all that we're facing, after all the challenges that we will have to have, you know, stop all of the all of the bitterness with each other, all of the lying to each other, all of the, the angriness and all of the things that cause us to be difficult. He says, be kind. Come on. Be kind to one another, to each other. Then he says, tenderhearted. This tenderhearted here is saying, be compassionate. At least let it 
don't be so cold. Don't be so hard. Don't be so angry. Don't be so mean. Whatever is going on, listen to me. Once you're in Christ Jesus, you're supposed to put on that same compassion that he had. If you're going to imitate Jesus, remember he was compassionate. He wasn't obstinate. He wasn't angry. He wasn't mad. He didn't hold a grudge. He didn't uh, He didn't have unforgiveness in his heart. He didn't lie. He put it there and said, hey, and, and lying here is not just lying, saying something that is deceitful, that is acting in a deceitful manner as well. Acting like, yo, oh, yeah, oh, I love you. Ooh, you make me sick. No, I'm telling you, this is what he's saying. And be kind to one another, tenderhearted, compassionate, show compassion towards one another. And then it says forgiving one another, uh, forgiving one another. This forgiving one another, we, we understand what forgiving is. That is releasing someone from a debt, right? That's releasing someone from a debt. Y'all got it? All right. So when I release you from a debt or somebody releases you from a debt, for example, if you owe someone $100 and they said we're going to forgive your debt, you no longer owe the $100, even though uh, it was given to you and you and, and contractually you had to give it back. But if you got forgiven of the debt, listen, if you were forgiven of the debt, you no longer have to pay for it. Your sin has a debt to pay and that debt is debt. The wages of sin is debt. The payment for sin is debt. So when we were in sin, Christ died for us and forgave us our debt. We're thinking of forgiveness as, oh, I ain't in trouble no more. No, 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 no. You don't have to die no more. Yeah, we think, listen, we think, we think, we think forgiveness is, oh, okay, we can be not, we can, we can love each other now. No, no. Forgiveness means that you don't have to die the debt that you deserve for the sin that you committed. Anybody want to give God praise that you don't have to pay the debt for your sin? You you are forgiven. I bet you want to thank God you're forgiven. If you got that, come on. Woo! <laughs> come on here. Come on here. I need you to get that. I need you to get that because maybe you don't understand. Maybe you're missing the point. Maybe you thought forgiving was just something that was nice. Maybe you thought forgiving, Lord, forgive me, was just an easy thing that you're doing and that you're getting and that you're able to go to the throne every day. Maybe maybe you missed the point that forgiving when Jesus died and he paid the price, the penalty for our sin while we were yet in sin because we understand that where there is no severe consequence, there is no motivation for change. And therefore, for you're not paying the price for your sin immediately and in the manner in which you deserve because Christ paid the price already. And so you need to make sure that you understand that if the righteous were to sin seven times daily, that we go to God asking for forgiveness all day and all the time. Because if we were, if we were to have to pay for it, but if Jesus paid for it, why well, I got to ask the father? He says, he knows what you have need of before you ask. So God is already a supplier, but the asking part is your surrendering and your submission to him. To submit to him is to acknowledge that his will and his way is the direction that you're going in. To surrender is to say you have no more will. You have no more way. So there is a surrender that must take place in order for your mind to be changed because your mind will never be changed until you completely surrender. You can submit all day long, but can you surrender? And then when you surrender and you receive forgiveness, do you understand that the price that you would have paid for your sin was not just to be able to go on and continue, but it was to pay the price so that you wouldn't have to die and it'd be, it'd be the end of you. Come on, somebody. He says, forgiving one another. So when we forgive each other, listen, that's intense. We're saying you don't have to pay the price anymore. And for all of you people that say, listen, I forgive you, but I'll never forget it. Where do you get that from? You get that from the earth. You get that from the world. And just like your body is in the earth and it functions in the earth, yes, there are going to be things that you have in your in your scrotoma, in your region where you hold uh, the place. I don't know where it is, but you hold memories. It's in that place. I get it. However, however, you should strive to not only forgive, but you fight to forget because if God wiped your slate clean, you're to wipe other slate clean. Whatever you went through, 
was to teach you something. And so whatever you're taught, you grow from that. So I, I'm not going to go back and do the same thing just because I forgave you. No, and forgot it. No, what I'm going to do is I'm going to learn from that and do things differently than I did before. Somebody better hear what I'm saying. You better hear what I'm saying. All right, let me keep going. Let me keep going. So I'm, I'm teaching seven different lessons. I need to focus on this. So and be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another. Then it says, even even as God in Christ forgave you. Now, this even as God in Christ forgave you is actually saying with the same force, with the same force that God, whoo, y'all to give God praise for that. Come on, Jeremy, you got to give God praise for that. Listen, IG, y'all hear me? He says with the same force, oh, you, uh, YouTube, Facebook, hold on. With the same force of compassion, of love, and kindness that God forgave you in Christ Jesus with that same force. Woo! Even as. Imitate that. So the imitation of that behavior is that God desired to forgive you. God wanted to forgive you. God needed to have this compassion for you. It was in him. It was more about what he wanted for you than what you wanted for yourself. Y'all. You are in control. You're in control. So he says, with the same desire, this, this forgiving one another, forgiving, forgiving one another, looking at yourself and extending that same gift to others, being honest with yourself. Hear that. Hear that. Hear that. That forgiving one another. Looking at yourself and, 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 and extending that same gift to others, being honest with yourself. Saying, look at yourself. And realize the forgiveness that you received. And it says, forgive each other with that same realization, that same being honest, that same truthfulness that you're using with yourself, that you know, that nobody else knows. He says, use that. And then he says, even as with the same force, with the same force in, in Christ Jesus, how he forgave you, he's saying for us to forgive others. With the same force, desire to imitate that same behavior. All right, so what's the motivation? What's the motivation? Here's your motivation, all right? I'm gonna read you your motivation, y'all. Stay with me, stay with me, all right? And say this, be easy to deal with. Huh. Be easy to deal with and show compassion to each other, looking at yourself and the grace and mercy you receive from God in Christ and then imitate that same behavior, being honest with yourself to get to the point that you need to be. All right, I'm going to say, to get to this point, all right, I'll read it to you again. It says, be easy to deal with and show compassion to each other, looking at yourself and the grace and mercy you receive from God in Christ Jesus and imitate that same behavior, being honest with yourself to get to this point. Y'all want me to read it again? All right, I'll do it. <laughs> one more time. One more time. It says, be easy to deal with and show compassion to each other looking at yourself and the grace and mercy you receive from God in Christ Jesus and imitate that same behavior, being honest with yourself to get to this point. So what's my app? Somebody say today. I'm going to get y'all. Somebody say today. Come on, I'm going to get y'all. I am not playing with y'all. I'm going I'm to get you. Come on. Somebody say today. Y'all know the deal. Come on. Today, today, today. This is, this, are we still here? Yeah, we still here. Are y'all here? Come on. I'm going to get it from IG because uh, for some reason, Facebook and YouTube, y'all playing around. All right. Come on. IG, give it to me. Somebody say today. Today. There it is already. Come on, Keisha. Let them know. Today. Here's what it's saying. Today. Woo. I don't know. Your app today is today, pay the debt of honesty, truthfulness with others in Christ while being truthful about the grace you have received. Pay the debt of honesty. Let's be honest with each other. We owe each other the debt of honesty. Pay the debt of honesty, the debt of truthfulness. We're required to be, let's be truthful with each other. If we if we be honest and truthful with each other, we will eliminate a lot of offense because people will know where we stand and won't be surprised and feel betrayed. Pay the debt of honesty and truthfulness with others in Christ Jesus. While 
being truthful about the grace that you have received. This is not uh, a permission a permission slip uh, from the teacher to go out and just play in the halls and be and just going off on people. And I just need to be honest with you. I got to tell you the truth. No, that's not what I just said. It is saying while while you're being honest with yourself, while you're being mindful of the grace that you have been given, the mercy that you have received. Come on, somebody. If y'all if y'all got that, let's give God praise for it before we pray this morning. Let's <laughs> let's pray this morning. Come on, He's worthy. He's worthy. Come on, let's give Him praise. Let's honor Him. Let's give Him glory. Let's give Him praise. Come on, if y'all are there, let's let's do it. Come on, I believe you. Come on, come on, come on, Tony. Come on, Andrew. Let's do it. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. Let's bless Him, praise Him. Come on, praise Him. Pay the debt of honesty, uh, being truthful with yourselves. Uh, understanding the grace that you have been given. Come on. Hallelujah. That's your inspiration. That's your motivation. And that's your app today. Be on, pay the debt. Be honest. Be honest. Listen, as believers, we've got to live this thing out and be true believers because how we live is a testimony of what we say. Let's be honest with our testimony. Come on. Come on. Let's glorify him. Let's honor him. Y'all know the pattern. Let's adore him this morning. Let's praise him this morning. Let's bless him this morning. He's worthy. Lord God, we give you thanks. We give you glory. We give you honor. We need you today. We thank you, Lord God, for being so kind and so nice to us. We have entered into your courts for thanksgiving. We have entered in with praise, God. We have declared that you are the great God, that you are the great I am. You are our Father who art in heaven. Holy is your name. Lord, let your kingdom come and your will be done here on earth. And we thank you for giving us the keys to the kingdom, that whatever we bind is bound here in earth and it's also bound in heaven. Whatever we loose, loose here in earth is also loose in heaven. So we thank you for the keys to the kingdom. We thank you, Lord God, that you have given us power, dunamis power here on the earth. We ask God that you give us the wisdom and the understanding Understanding the explanation that we need in order to work it out, the pattern, the format, God. We want to be in alignment with your word. We surrender this morning. We surrender all unto you because we want you to be glorified in everything that we do. Help us, God, to be honest with ourselves and help us, God, to be truthful with our brothers, our sisters, God. It's a debt that we owe each other. We thank you for the sin debt being paid by the blood of Jesus, for it is the paying of blood, is the shedding of blood where the remission of sins is taken care of. And so, God, we thank you so much, Lord God, for paying our sin debt with the blood of Jesus by offering your only son, God, for you so loved the world that you gave your only begotten son so that whomever believes in him will have this access to eternal life. And so, Lord God, we believe. And since we believe, we're thankful. Since we believe, God, we're appreciative because we understand that you didn't have to do it, God, but we are so glad that you did. We know, God, that all things, God, work together for our good. And so we know that you working things out for us, God, was for our good, but it was your desire. And we love you for it. We appreciate you this morning. We love you this morning, God. We adore you. We ask, God, that you, Father, get the glory out of our lives. Be magnified, oh great God. Be magnified, oh great King. Live within us, God. Showcase your glory and your power. We, your people, love you this morning. We woke up this morning with the intent to come and give you glory, with the intent to come and give you praise, with the intent, God, to magnify your name. Oh, majesty, wonderful God you are. We love you this morning. Oh, God, a charge to keep that we have. God, a God to glorify. We give you praise this morning, God. We will hold on to the charge. We will keep the charge this morning to declare and to share, to declare your wondrous works in the earth and to share, God, the forgiveness that we receive. God, we give it and extend it to others. Help us, God, in the difficult things. Help us in the traumatic areas. Help us in the things, God, that had so much pain that's preventing us from getting to you. We ask now, God, that you help us to forgive and you help us, God, not to be unforgiving. Remove all the bitterness. Anything in our heart, God, that can produce fruit, bitter fruit, God, we're asking now that you all the way to the root, God, that you plug it up now. Show us where we need to go. Show us what we need to do. Show us where it happened, God, so that we can let it go and give it to you. Because anything, any burden, God, that we have to carry will only entangle us and draw us back into sin. So we cast our cares upon you, Lord. We, we cast our burdens upon you, for you care for us, God, and that there will be nothing that will draw us in. In the name 
name of the Lord Jesus. We praise your name. And so this morning, God, we ask that you forgive us for all of our sin, sins we're aware of, things that we're not, sin, God, that's holding and hindering us, God, sin that we decided that we didn't want to leave and let go at the cross. The blood, the payment has already been made. Let us, God, help us to release it now in Jesus' name, Father, to walk in the authority that you've given us. And that authority is to forgive. That authority is the freedom that you have given us because we're in Christ Jesus. And so we bless your name this morning. Help us, God, to love others, to be easy to deal with, and God, to deal with others easily. Help us not to make things difficult for others, God. Help us, God, to make, God, the pathway easy for others in the name of the Lord Jesus. You've given us grace. Help us, God, to have the same ability to permit and to give grace. Help us, God. We thank you for your mercy that we receive. Help us, God, to be merciful unto others as well. It is your compassion and kindness towards us. Help us, God, to be compassionately and kind to others, God, in the name of the Lord Jesus, God, because, God, there is nothing that's going to separate us from you. There is nothing in the earth, God. We know how to be abound and to be abased, so we know to be content. And so, God, we know that we're content in you. We love you this morning. We give you praise this morning. You care for us, God. Hallelujah. We love you this morning. Thank you for your kindness towards us. Thank you for your love towards us. And so, God, we extend it back to others. In the name of the Lord Jesus, come on, let's give him praise this morning. Somebody open up your mouth. Give him praise. Throw back your head. Holler one time. Wake up the people in your house. Let your neighbors know that you love the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. He's been kind to you. He's been good to you. He's been nice to you. He's been faithful. Even when you were unfaithful, even after you said yes to Jesus and all the sin that you know that had happened, he has been kind and he has been gracious. God, help us in this moment. In this morning, we give you praise for it. We give you glory this morning. Hallelujah. <laughs> glory to God. He's worthy of it all. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody bless him. Come on, hallelujah. He's been good to you. Didn't have to be. He's been kind to you, didn't have to be. He's been faithful, didn't have to be. He's been loving, regardless of you and your thoughts towards him, he still loved you. As a good father, regardless of your opinion of him in whatever situation you were in, he never changed who he was. And who is he? He's the great Olam. Who is he? He's Jehovah Jireh. Who is he? He's Jehovah Rapha. Who is he? <laughs> Who is he? He's the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Father, this morning we, we ask that you would heal those that are in sick situations this morning, God, sick in their bodies, sick in the, God, those that have sickness in the heart, pain, the emotional realm, sickness in their mind, God, where the enemy is trying to derange them, to dissuade them from from the things that you have available, God. We ask that you would perform a miracle. And God, you did it for uh, the, the demoniac, God. So you'll do it in the mind area for anybody because you're faithful, you're just, you're kind. We love you this morning, God, and we, we need you. We need you. So God, heal, set free, and deliver. We ask God that there be nothing with hell from those that walk up rightly before you. So for the righteous, God, that are dealing with sickness and disease in the body, your word is clear, God, that you would heal. And that is your name as a memorial because you have done it before. You opened up the blind eye. We believe that you will open up blind eyes. You healed, God, sickness and disease from fever, God, Peter's mother, God, in any situation that causes fever. I pray now, God, that you will reduce inflammation in any area. That's in my spirit. There's inflammation in the body. We ask, God, that you reduce inflammation now, that you would cause fluid, God, to, to be removed from around hearts and inflammation, God, and fluid to be removed around lungs, God, uh, in the area of the knee, God, that you would cause uh, fluid to be removed, that you would heal shoulders right now, ligaments and, and pain in shoulders in the name of the Lord Jesus, God. We ask that you would also, God, continue, I see it, God, that you would open up eyes that are dimming and and that don't see clearly that you would help God and 
give supernatural um, surgery in the eye now, God, because we believe you for miracles as well. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we ask God that you would heal in Jesus' name. God, do it. Every area of the body and every prayer request that is on this wall that has an issue in the body, that you would heal it now. Do me a favor, believers. Come on, lay hands on your head. God, in Jesus' name, we declare from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet that you would heal their body in every way. Things that are they are aware of and things that they are not aware of, the unspoken thing. Heal it now, God. Remove it out of their bodies now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every tumor, we're speaking to tumors now. We call you to dry up. We call you to drain. We call you to be gone now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every tumor of every kind and every size in the name of the Lord Jesus. Those that have been seen by x-ray and those that have not been. We declare it in Jesus' mighty name that the power of God will rest and you will go and do great and mighty things on today. That you will lay hands upon the sick and they will recover as well. God, we thank you that those that are in deathly situations, that are on their deathbed or those that are walking around close to death, those that do not know that death is creeping at their door. Lord, if it is not the time that you have assigned, we declare that death, you must pass over. You must move and be gone now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we declare that we shall live and not die and that the Lord will be our protector. He will cover us and keep us and no hurt, harm or danger shall come nigh our dwelling and nothing by any means shall be able to harm us because Lord God, you're with us. And so we declare that they not only father death pass them over, but they shall rise up and live and proclaim your wondrous work in the earth. We thank you for the testimony of miracles in the name of the Lord. Lord Jesus, in every kind of sickness and disease. And yes, Lord, we're thanking you now that they're not only recovering, God, but you will end this coronavirus, that you would end COVID-19. And God, we're not moved by what we see. We're not shaking by what has been said. But God, we are focused in on what you have the power and the authority to do. And we thank you for it. We speak it in the atmosphere and we declare that we shall have what we say. Faith is released by the words of our mouth. It is, Father, the meditation of our heart that we speak. We we give you glory for it now in the name of the Lord Jesus. We praise you. Now, God, I pray that you will do more than what is expected because your word says that you are the exceeding and abundantly and above all kind of God. And we take you at your word. We give you praise for it. We give you glory for it. Come on, somebody. We give you glory for it. We give you praise for it. Come on. We give you glory. Come on. We give you glory for it. Come on. Come on. Come on, IG. Let him know in Jesus' name. Ha! Ah! Father, in Jesus' name, we come against the spirit of fear. Somebody, y'all, I just heard you. I just heard you. Thank you, Lord. But when you thank, when you thank the Lord for your healing and you thank the Lord uh, for your deliverance, you had doubt mixed in with it. All right. And, and I understand. All right. So this is a thank you, Lord. Father, I pray that the spirit of fear that creeps in under the guise of of sus being suspect or because of previous experiences, I ask God that you would remove that and give them a peace, a calm and a comfort that they will be able to believe you now fully in Jesus name. Come on, whoever that was for, uh, or if you know somebody that sent up the heart, send, send them up for them. Let's give him praise for it. In the name of Jesus, Yeshua, the Christ, our Lord and Savior and soon coming King. I love you. I love you. Amen. 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 Come on. Let's give him praise for it. Thank y'all so much. Honor again that y'all join us this morning for the everyday until 8 a.m. experience. Uh, it's working, guys. Listen, things are working. Let's continue. Let's continue to press in. Do me a favor. Come on, do me this favor. Go ahead and make sure that you like, comment, share, and tag, and then get somebody to get on with you tomorrow morning. I don't know if I'm not saying it to you right, uh, but uh, hopefully I'm saying it to you in, in, a, in such a way uh, that you will bring somebody on with you tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a hump day. I promise you. All right. Uh, those of you that are on the phone call, thank you all so much. God bless you. Honored that you, you jumped in and you jumped on. Uh, make sure uh, that you have it in your heart and know that God is working it out for your good, that we love you here at EDU, and that tomorrow we expect to see you the same. <laughs> all right. Be blessed.
All right. Those of you on IG, thank y'all so much. Honored that y'all joined me this morning, man. I'm telling you, uh, nothing but love, big love for you. Have a wonderful day. Y'all be blessed and uh, and do the same thing. Uh, make sure that you share it and then get somebody on with you tomorrow morning. All right. Y'all be blessed. Yeah. Boo. All right. Facebook and I uh, and uh, and uh, YouTube. Appreciate y'all. Glad that y'all are here this morning. Make sure that uh, you uh, you get on uh, tomorrow morning uh, because I believe that God is speaking to us specifically here uh, in a in a in a time in a place uh, where uncertainty is abounding. The thing that we have that is certain is that the Lord will not leave nor forsake, and that He understands and knows before we ever get there. He's planning out our day. He's planning out our lives. I love y'all. I'm honored that y'all are here. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed, and we'll see you back here tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time for the Everyday Until 8 a.m. Experience. Be blessed.